Hello, everybody. How are you doing today? My name is Tony Rizano, and this is episode 360, 360 of the world famous, the University Love, the best podcast in one, two, three galaxies. But ladies and gentlemen, you and I, we just call this thing online marketing moves, and we are coming to you live today. Today is Wednesday. August the 11th, 2021. Ladies and gentlemen, come on in, come on in, come on in. Ladies and gentlemen, how are you today? Ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to talk about something that you should avoid when you are starting your business. doesn't matter what your business is. doesn't matter what kind of business it is. The one thing that you should not do is you should not pander to any and everybody. The more you try to be for everybody, the less money you will make. That is true. That is true. That is very true. Um, don't try to generalize and just, <clears throat> I'll give you an example. If you ever do a Facebook ad, let's say you, you're promoting a YouTube channel or you're promoting a podcast or you're promoting a product you want to sell and you go to the, Facebook ad, you'll go to the Facebook ad and then it'll, it'll say, what's your target audience? And if you try to do like 18 to 65 and it's for anybody, it'll say this, it'll say this, this is pretty general. This is, this is a little too broad. That's what it'll say, something like that. But once you break it down, let's say, you have a book about video games and you're like, I want to target, you know, males, males, females, 18 to 29, you know, living in, in the video game is something about, let's say Madden. <clears throat> you want to target people in America or whatever. Then it'll say, okay, this is, this is better. You know, it's better to, to do that than try to catch a net with everybody in it because you, you, you're going to catch zero fish. And I bring this up because I saw something the other day and it tickled me a little bit. And I said, boy, boy, boy. And um, I read this headline and it said, Robin comes out as bi. And at first I'm thinking, Robin who? And they was talking about the comic book character, Robin. Um, I don't know if any of you ever read comic books or used to or still do but not but apparently robin um has accepted a date with uh with a guy with the guy in the comic book the first off when i was reading comic books there's very little it was some like love interest but the love interest for me when it comes to comic books and superheroes they I don't care about that. Like, I don't care about Batman dating Catwoman or, you know, any of this kind of stuff. So, <clears throat> for me, it's always been kind of like, <laughs> you know, I mean, Spider-Man, can, he can't, you know, is it going to be Mary Jane? Is it going to be the other one? You know, <clears throat> I mean, we, we, you know, I mean, if you read comic books, you, you, know, you know what I'm talking about. But, I saw this and I saw people and they was like, oh, we finally been waiting on DC to, um, you know, like have a, uh, I don't know, make Robin gay or something like that or have a gay character. I don't, I'm not too sure, but I just thought, why do we, why does like DC, and I'll give you another example. I watched a Star Wars movie. Uh, the last or was it the last Star Wars movie where they, you know, she fought Kylo Ren and all that kind of stuff, you know, and they had some kind of mind connection or some jazz like that. And <clears throat> I didn't like the movie at all, but at the end of the movie, they show these two females kissing, you know, and I thought that was odd. That's like kind of just kind of forced in, you know what I mean? And, you know, 
when I when I first when I first thought about doing this show, I thought do I have to explain myself? But no, I don't have to explain myself to anybody. Listen, <clears throat> my point is, my thing is, if you're gonna do it, just do it. Just put it in the movie. Don't make that like a don't throw that in to like pander to an audience. You know what I mean? Like it's like when Star Wars, like they had. Okay, like back in the day, Star Wars had Billy D. Williams in there, okay? And that was cool. And I remember um, they put, it was in some other movie they had, it was a few years ago, and it wasn't good either. And they had Donald Glover in there. And they was like, well, he's um, he's like uh, uh, some, 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 something, something, uh, something goofy, you know? And I'm like, Man, this is just Star Wars. The only people that are like romantic are like um, Princess Leia and uh, it was Solo. You know what I mean? Like, who, what is all this nonsense they were talking about? What is all this verbiage, you know? And I'm just like, Star Wars sucks so bad right now. Like, what happened, you know? <clears throat> like, I remember like the ones in the 70s and 80s, they were great, you know? And um, they came out with the ones from... Like in the early 2000s, they were cool, but now it's just getting kind of ridiculous, you know? And I'm like, why would they put like two women kissing at the end of the movie? You know, you couldn't have them do that in the beginning. You can have them have a romance story throughout the whole movie, you know? Like, <clears throat> why throw that in there? Just shoving it in there, you know? It's pandering, you know? First off, for me, I would be annoyed because, <clears throat> listen, I'm I'm a, I'm a black man, so I get annoyed when people try to pander to me. You know, like don't insult my intelligence. I'm not a you know duh duh duh. You know, it's no I'm no dummy. You know, don't pander. You know, it's 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 the worst thing you can do, and it's so annoying and it's so like uh, insulting. You know, it's like come on man, let's 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 cut it out, man. Knock it out. You know, and it's a double edged sword because you know. You, if there's something you don't like, let's say you are, let's say you are a gay, you're a gay man, a gay woman, whatever, and you, and you read comic books and you see there's no representation for you or whatever. The the thing I always think about is if you don't like, if you don't like what these people are doing, create your own. Don't, don't wait for DC or Marvel because first off, they're starting to stink anyway. You know what I mean? Like they're not that good anymore. All these comic books is definitely not what it used to be. And because it's too much, uh, it's too much, you know, it's just, they try, now they try to do all this, you know, social justice stuff, all this, all that, you know, it's like, I'm not saying you, you can't change or anything like that, but when it's so obvious, when it's so pandering, you know, it's 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 nonsense and you will lose you will lose ground you will lose business you know what i mean like it's not good for you and you want to avoid this kind of stuff you want to avoid this um you want to avoid this stuff in general you know um because you definitely will lose you because you want you want you want your audience, but you want to grow your audience. But at the same time, don't start forcing things. And then it's like, now what are you going to do? And you're going to put yourself in the corner because, you know, Star Wars, they're whatever. They're, they're out there. I, I will never watch another, not because, you know, they had two women kissing, just because the, the they've jumped, they jumped the uh, shark, as, as they say, a while ago. You know, it, it's just one bad movie after another, you know? And now DC is going to try to, and you know they're going to try to implement this into a movie or something like that. And, you know, they're going to force it and it's going to be all weird and awkward and it's not going to be good, you know? It's just going to be dumb. And DC already makes terrible movies to begin with, you know? <clears throat> Let's forget about sexuality. Let's forget about anything. Race, anything like that. DC puts out the worst superhero movies. All right, let's let's just they are not good at so either they need to, you know, 
make a new character, you know, make the make make a new character. Like make a a, a gay character or something. Like make them, you know, from the word go, you know, don't you know, 80 years later, you know, cuz you know, technically Robin's like 80 years old, something like that. And now it's sudden in the 60th edition of Robin He's all of a sudden coming out. All right. It's pandering. It's uh, desperation. It's attention seeking. It's um, not going to, it's not going to win you any, uh, it's not going to win you any awards. Believe you me. And it's nonsense. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's just nonsense. It's a lot of pandering. And you want to avoid this kind of stuff in your business. You want to, yeah, you, you want to try to get, people but the days of the days of being like an applebee's where you can just be generalized and just kind of like hey we're for anybody everybody just come on in those days are kind of out the window there's so much there's so many places there's so many restaurants there's so many internet marketers so many you want to find a nice niche you want to find um people that you want to find you want to you don't want to panic to everybody you want to find your group and you will find it eventually you will find it and you want to and people will you know like i told you like we talked about the other day the best thing you can do the best way you can go about it is you don't want an audience of a million people. You want an audience of, let's say, 10,000 active, active buyers, active listeners. You want the you want the people that's going to spend money with you, you know, and you want to work on that. You want to figure that out. Now, <clears throat> we all know that people are going to people are going to like DC. They're gonna. They're not gonna sell out these comic books. You know what I mean? Like people are gonna be like, "All right, Robin, he's um, he's bisexual. Yippee!" And they're gonna tweet tweet about it. And they're gonna talk about it, and then the sales are not gonna go through the roof. So it's like you're pandering for an audience, but is pe- people gonna buy this comic book? No. You know this, and I know this. No, they're not. All right, because comic book sales have been in the toilet for a long time. <clears throat> so this is a way for them to try to revive the comic book sales, but it's not going to work. It doesn't matter. You know what I mean? It's, uh, it's something that you want to avoid. Like star Wars, they, when Disney got them, you know, you thought, all right, Disney's going to put some eh, Disney. They sort of, they, they flubbed it. Like star Wars is bad. And the end of that movie, I just, I remember I walked out with my wife and I was like, what was the point of that? And my wife was like, what? And I'm like, they just show two two random women. They don't have any names, no nothing. They're just kissing. I'm like, what is that supposed to be? <clears throat> Nobody's coming to the movie to wait three hours and just see two girls on on camera kissing. Like, come on, that's kinda that's kinda nuts. You know what I mean? Like that's that's more pandering. And this is why Star Wars stinks, you know? Like I don't understand it. And it's sort of like, uh, I'll give you another example of pandering. When a, a restaurant, they do something uh, sort of racist, you know, people deem it racist. And then people are like, let's go boycott. And then they go, oh, no, we're not like that. We we apologize. And, you know, we're going to give um, free appetizers to anybody that's, that's, that, that's black or something like that. Something <laughs> Something stupid, you know what I mean? Um, first off, me personally, as as I always tell my wife, if you don't me if you don't want me at your restaurant, you don't have to ask me twice. I'll say f you and your restaurant, and we can go somewhere else because I don't I don't want the hassle. You know what I mean? I don't want you spitting in my food and nothing crazy like that. And this is not the fifties where spate well restaurants is limited. This is not the forties where restaurants is limited. There's many places you can go to get a meal, especially where I live, you know, if you, you don't want me at your restaurant, find a Danny with me. Um, I'll take my money somewhere else because my money's good. So I don't really care about your 
opinions. I don't care about your thoughts. You know, if you don't want me in your restaurant, then you can have at it. So I don't know why people are clamoring and pandering um, or like wanting like the the DCs of the world and the restaurants of the world to be in, to include them. You know, if you don't want me, if you don't want me in your restaurant or you don't want to, you know, portray me in your comic book, then just F you and move on and come up, create your own restaurant, or create your own comic book or create your own storyline. I remember I met this guy at Target once and um, he was African-American and I was wearing my I was wearing my Star Wars, my Darth Vader shirt at the time. It was a cool shirt. My wife at the time, she's my girlfriend, but she got me. And he's like, you in the comic books? And I'm like, yep. And he told me how he wrote this story and he was trying to get it sold, you know. And it was a good story, too. He wrote like five volumes of like these storylines and they were good. And they were about and they had, you know, they had people that looked like me and people that looked like him in them. And I was like, oh, this is cool. And I, and to me, I thought, now, see, this is what you're supposed to do. You know, like, why waste your time? I'm not going to call up Marvel and be like, can you put me, can you put somebody that looks like me as uh, the next daredevil or something like that? No, nah, I'll just write my own thing. And you can always self-publish now. Like, um, the greatest thing about the world now is you don't have to wait on anybody. There's no gates. There's nothing, you know, you can do your own thing, you know, like look at, um, I'm going to talk about this before, but look at Issa Rae. She wrote, a, she wrote these stories on YouTube and then HBO was like, oh, we want you, you know, let's sign you up. So, you know, there's no, nothing stopping anybody from doing anything they don't want to. So if you want to be included, include yourself, you know, start doing your own thing. You know, you don't have to wait around. You don't have to wait to be pandered to anybody. And pandering is the death of, of a lot of businesses. So I'll take my advice. Don't pander. Don't be pandered and don't do the pandering. All right. But ladies and gentlemen, that's it for today. Go out, find your audience and make the most money, make the most money you can possible. OK, like I told you before, we are all salesmen at the end of the day. Don't get it twisted. Don't worry about, you know, sales being a bad word, or anything like that. We are all trying to sell ourselves to somebody. So. Ladies and gentlemen, that being said, that's it. My name is Tony Rizzano. Thank you for listening. And as always, everybody, peace.